Stacy Jones here. I'm at the Open Fist where I just saw Maisie, a fable, and I'm with the director, Alexis Blue. Hello. So it was your preview tonight. It was our preview. Great. So, um, tell me a little bit about what Maisie is about. Maisie is a story of a fairy from the valley who comes to Hollywoods to fly. Um, it's very much so like any young actress coming to Los Angeles and to Hollywood to become an actor. And, um, and the journey she goes on and what she sacrifices along the way in order to become a star. It's a really fun show and there's, uh, there's lots of really cool elements to it. I really liked yeah. the, the pixie dust and Tinkerbell references. I thought that was really fun. Yeah, we like to layer in with sound and movement. Um, we train physically. Um, it's more of a like Grotowski European based theater and so um, when we can afford the dance floor, the sprung wood floor, um, we train like that and sort of trying to bring a little bit of a different movement to LA and LA theater. So tell me a little bit about um, how you put this together, maybe a little bit about your production company. Sure. Cowboys and Indians. Um, we formed last year Raina Lewis, who plays Tinker Bell, and then Felicity Doyle, who plays Shankly and I, um, started it. And um, it kind of has the theme of like going out west, cowboys and Indians, and sort of starting up from the ground. And so we worked on a play last year called Wolf Girls, um, nominated for a few awards, won an award last year at the Fringe. And um, just self-producing and uh, reaching out to family members and friends and anyone in the community that will uh, support our art. And from last year to this year, we've had tr tremendous growth. And so just putting it, doing it together, pulling all resources that we have um, to make a show. Great. So when, uh, when are some other performances that people can come to see? We have a performance. We open on Saturday the 18th at 8 p.m. and then Tuesday the 21st at 8 p.m. Uh, Thursday and Friday at 10 p.m. and Saturday again the 25th at 2 p.m. Great. Come well, by. you guys are a great company and yeah. I hope I know we're going to see a lot of great things from you guys in the future and I hope a lot of people come to see Maisie. It was a great show. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a great night. Thanks. Stacey Jones here. I'm at the French Central Bar. I'm here with some staff members. Look, it's hooded Elizabeth Steele, volunteer coordinator, getting her drink on. Oh, unhooded. How's it going today, Liz? It's going good. I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting my new friend, Nareen Neal, from the Capital Fringe. She's coming to the party tomorrow night, and she's already spreading the good word of the Hollywood Fringe and around she's, Hollywood. She's the volunteer coordinator of, of the Capital Fringe. Yes. That's awesome. And she was, she was in an interview at Cafe Muse and ran into someone that didn't know about fringes outside of the New York Fringe. So she schooled him. <laughs> nice. Yep. So that's the highlight of Liz's day. Mm -hmm. And then we have Megan. <laughs> Megan McCauley, no longer outreaching to a sandwich. Not today. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. How's I it had going a rap for you? Earlier. A rap? How, was it good? How's, uh, how's your day going, outreach-wise? Good. I just met the guys from How to, How to Survive a Zombie Apocalypse, actually. They just arrived at 4 o'clock in the morning from the UK. They're staying at a hostel in West Hollywood. They've gotten lost several times. Uh, but they're super nice. Uh, they're excited about Friday at Bancroft Middle School, and so am I. So that was actually they're really great. Excited to meet them. That's going to be awesome. Tell me, tell me about the Bancroft Middle School thing. Well, you see, uh, uh, we're doing it, an assembly at Bancroft Middle School, so we're bringing up the Fringe show, which is How to Survive a Zombie Apocalypse. It's a mock seminar on how to survive in the event that the, the dead rise from their graves to attack mankind, and we'll be doing it for 300 students this Friday at Bancroft Middle at 1.15 in the p.m. That's awesome. Good luck with that, man. Thank you, Stacy. This is Nick Hill. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see you. And, and what's your role here, Nick? I am the festival director, and uh, oh, wait, it's my brother. I am reaping the benefits of nepotism. Um, and I get to be the French Central Manager, which is a job I'm very proud of and enjoy. The where? The French Central Manager. What is French Central, you might ask? You know what's also? funny about the fact that I'm French Central Manager is that I cannot pronounce the word fringe correctly. I've probably said it like 200 times in the last 
Two Does that days. mean that uh, you show French films and um, speak in French? So many hilarious sitcom -y scenarios have happened from miscommunication. Like, oh, the French are coming. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about because there's no such word as French. French. <laughs> Um, what you, what, so what do you do all day? I do a lot of sitting in front of a computer, uh, answering phone calls, uh, and selling tickets, uh, being pleasant, uh, and I'm gaining a reputation of taking naps, sitting up. <laughs> I, I, he does he all of those things. Sure. There's He's a witness. mostly very pleasant. There's sure a witness. Be pleasant. We, I, I have, I have like a, a 20, 25 minute grumpy spell every day. But you do a great. No, you're, you're never grumpy. You're never grumpy. I just wait till you're gone. <laughs> I don't want to get out grumped. So to, somebody told me that if I had trouble at Fringe Central, I should talk to the bear. The bear. The bear. I, you should talk to the bear. The bear has been a, a wall for, for a while now. I, I talked to the bear before the Fringe Festival last year, but since then he just kind of hasn't been hanging out, but the bear was supposed to be like the information guide of uh, French Central, so you would have any question, you talk to the bear, or the guy in the bear suit, so maybe he'll show up, but I don't know. He's got a drinking problem or something. He's pretty irresponsible. When bears drink, man, it's bad news. Is there anything else you want to talk about? It doesn't have to be friends related. It, uh, things to talk about. Um, I'm sure there is. Hey, oh, 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 up here. So, oh, sorry. Up sorry, here, sorry. all right? I couldn't help myself. Focus. <laughs> Jesus, Jones. Well, I love the fringe staff. I'm actually also on the fringe staff. I'm not just the tired-looking girl on the interviews. And what's your name? I'm Stacy Jones. And what do you do for the Fest Hollywood Festival, Fringe Festival? Now I'm all paranoid of saying the word because I've outed myself. I'm not being able to pronounce it correctly. I write press releases Yes. And what other are, things. Yes, what are those other things? Um... Oh my god! Oh, look, it's Kat! Hey, I'm Kat. so excited for the party tomorrow! <laughs> what party? Oh, the French opening party! Oh my god, what are you excited for? Um, drinking, just with my friends. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Oh, look, it's a star of one of the shows it's I saw amazing. tonight. It's amazing. Amazing. Tomorrow, tomorrow, too. You did a great job tonight. Thank you very much. Thank I you love your coming. makeup. Thank you. Did Julian you? did it. Julian, I don't know his last name. So do, do we have to <laughs> I know. <laughs> we'll have jewelry. We'll have girl band jewelry. Oh yeah, look at this. This is, a, this is Kat's design. jewelry that she made for her show. Isn't that cool? Actually with the guitar pick from the cult. That's from rad. the road. On the road with the cult. Awesome, yeah. dude. You can get yours too. Girl band in the men's room .com. Look, and all, it's also a mirror from Four Clowns. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How I just put you? you on the spot there. <laughs> What's up? Not a whole lot. Just kind of stalking people and putting them on camera, you know. Exciting. Well, uh, for those of you that missed that Sacred Fools performances, uh, we're going on tour and we'll probably be back with the original Four Clowns in the fall. So check us and out. It's Amir's birthday in like and two hours. Happy, happy birthday, Amir! One hour at this One hour at this point. Well, this is awesome. I've been having a good time. Oh my god, it's one other person I need to interview. <laughs> it's Godali. So. How are you doing, Godali? Good, how are you? What's going on? Uh, I just had a lot of Indian food. It was really good. Ugh. Oh, man. Who gave you the number for that Indian uh, food? That would be Ben Hill on oh, his phone. Oh, man. He is he was good ben looking. Hill's phone. Oh, wow. How's everything going over at Actor Circle? Good. Busy. We've got some good shows in there. What do you uh, What do you do there? Um, I'm the venue manager. My company, Courage Theater Company, is putting on this show. The awesome. Trouble with Words. What's so show. special about your theater company? What's so specific about it? Well, we have She seems to be leading you towards something. ...way of asking for ticket money, which is not it with a set price. It is what we call, pay what you want. Hashtag. Bum, bum, bum. That means whatever you want to pay. 
that's what you pay. So if you've got five dollars in your wallet and you want to pay five dollars, you can pay five dollars. If you think the show is ridiculously amazing and you want to give us five hundred dollars, that's okay too. So if you pay five hundred dollars, do you get a better performance than if you pay five dollars? That's the great thing. No matter what you pay, it's the same awesome show. OMG! Wow! So let this be a lesson to you all. If you come to Fringe Central and drink, you just might get some extra time on camera. Stacey Jones, stand up June 14th. Tomorrow is the opening night party, and you better be there.